Hi, it's Pete. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to talk about saguaro cactus. In particular, I'm going to talk about their growth rates uh, when their first arms, if they get their first arms. There's a lot of information out on the internet, and I was, sh I, maybe I shouldn't be shocked anymore, but a lot of it's really poor information. It's very conflicting, uh, very generalized. I actually did some real world measurements on some, some cactus that I observed over about a 14 year period. That helps us get some real world data together. I'm sure there's other researchers. I'd love to hear from you. Please stay tuned. All right, well, let's get started. Thanks for joining me. Mighty saguaro cactus, pronounced saguaro. Scientific name, Carnegie Gigantia. Named in honor of Andrew Carnegie, who had a research institute in Tucson at one time. They're native to the Sonoran Desert, which is Arizona, parts of northern Mexico, and a little bit of California. Now, if you go out and research how fast do they grow, you're going to see information like this. Between 1 and 1.5 inches in the first 8 years. 6 inches by age 9. 1 foot by 2 years old. Those are very conflicting numbers. And the list of conflicting information goes on and on. So let's start out. Let's look at how they grow, and then I'm going to get into some data. Here, zooming in on the top of a cactus here, there you can see the flowers have kind of wilted away, and, and the red seed pod is opened. That's a very sweet, fleshy fruit inside, and there's up to about 2,000 seeds in each, each one of these pods. Birds love these, doves, uh, woodpeckers. Uh, of course, they eat those and then they spread around the seeds around the desert and people eat these as well. They make a, a very sweet syrup out of them. Follow me while I stumble around on this hillside. Uh, I've observed this hillside over about a 14 year period. My recollection is there were few, if any, cactuses visible early on. Now there's quite a few spears which are just armless cacti cactuses or cacti. So let's take a look at how they grow. I'm going to find some young ones here. Well, I was unable to find any very small inch or inch and a half like you'd expect in that first eight or so years, according to the data. I did find a lot of young below a foot tall. I think these were about seven to nine inch tall. This is three of them. Notice that they all are growing near a nurse plant. They like the, and a, at the young age, they like to be near a nurse plant for that protection. And that's why it's hard to find the young ones sometimes. They're buried in the brush. Quick observation before I move on. They seem to invest an awful lot in their root system early in life. I'll do another video on that later. Well, I dug through some old photos and I found a series of photos of the same cactus over uh, about a 12 year period. Here it is in 2011 with one small arm. 2014 you can see the beginnings of another arm, the second arm. Uh, this is now, this is today, and there's actually a third arm attempting to sprout. So today the cactus is over nine feet tall, but really it's only the arms that are going to continue to grow. So I grabbed some measurements on those, which I'll refer to over the coming years. And here's another cactus I found documentation on over a, about that same 12 year period. All right, let's cut to the chase. So how fast did these cactuses grow, cacti grow over that 12 year period that I was able to document them? Using its proportions, I estimated about two and a half feet of growth in 2011, and now it's eight feet two inches. Well, if you do the math, that comes out to about 5.67 inches per year of a growth rate. Using the same procedure on the cactus with two arms, I figured one of them grew about five inches per year and the other about 4.4 inches per year. Now let's compare that with some data I found at Wikipedia on the internet. It was the most organized data I could find and it was referenced from a study in 1961. I'm assuming there's been more recent research but I did not come across it in my cursory review on this topic. Please share it if you have it. But let's go through this. Uh, this table shows growth rates based on certain age groups. For example, by age 27, they might be five feet tall. 
By age 83, they might be 20 feet tall, and so on. I did some of my own calculations. I converted the height to inches, and then I calculated the average growth per year. But I noticed some anomalies in the data, so I did a little more, and I broke the age groups out, and I noticed there were different growth rates based on different ages. And also, uh, National Park Service and others have adamantly stated that they only grow to about 1 to 1.5 inches in their first eight years. So I've included that data also on this. Then this table just pulls it all together. And the most concise and useful data, I believe, is on the right side of the table. I've highlighted it there. Next, I graphed it so you can see the differences in age group growth rates kind of pop out here with the maximum seeming to be right around that 27 to 41 year period, which if this data is accurate, was when they would have the fastest growth rate. All right, let's bring this back to reality. So I estimated about five to six inches of growth on one, five on another, 4.4 on another. If I look at that table, that puts me in the fast growth range closest to the 27 to 41 year range. And interestingly, this house was built about 43, 44 years ago, so that matches up pretty good with the right time frame. And while these cactus are not on a watering system, they do get a little more water than a typical desert cactus would just because they're close to our house. That explains why my growth rate measurements are probably a little higher than what I would have found out in the raw desert. Availability to water seems to be the biggest factor in when they'll get an arm, and it's generally 50 to 100 years before it happens, but in our case it happened, I'm going to guess, around 30 years old, which seems reasonably possible since it's so close to the house. So here's some example documentation. I took measurements using an iPhone measurement system. I'm not sure if that's the most accurate, but I think it's useful for the what I'm going to do, some casual measurements, and I'm going to watch these over the next few years and see if I can document some changes in height. Well, I hope you found this interesting. I didn't confuse you with the math, and uh, it's been an interesting project for me. I've learned a ton, and I'm, I'm looking forward to more videos on the topic. I'll be looking at the root systems, the structure of the plant, how they store water, and so forth, and some of the variations like crested saguaro is very cool. Use some specimens in this analysis today that were close to a home. Therefore, they seem to be growing faster and getting armed sooner. So the real answer here seems to be it depends on the exposures the cactus is receiving. If it's getting good water and, and good sun, I suppose, and it's at the right altitude, probably the conditions are great. It's going to grow well. If it's in a harsh desert environment, probably not. But also a strong word of caution about watering saguaro cactus. You really shouldn't water them. If they get a little excess water, that's going to be okay. But they should not be on a watering system. I'll, I'll do a video that talks more about how to grow them, how to transplant them, and how to water them and so forth. But warning, do not water them, especially this year. This is 2023. We're having an incredibly hot summer. These cactus are literally cooking from the inside out. They're, they're, it's too hot. We're not getting nighttime temperatures dropping. Arms are falling off because of too much water. Please don't do that. They're cactus. They know how to live here a lot better than we do without a lot of water. Take care.